Hello YouTube, this is Wasted, W8ST3D over here, and I'm going to teach you how to connect your TI-84 calculator to your computer to transfer some files such as Notefolio, a great program that you type stuff up on your computer and send it to your calculator. This is my calculator, it's a TI-84, um, it's one thing you're going to need to use. Other thing is, um, you're going to need a mini USB to USB cable. Um, this is for your calculator to connect to your computer. Um, this is actually a Sony Mini USB and not from the original calculator. Um, the other thing you're going to need is a laptop computer or a desktop computer, either choice. This is used to um, transfer the program from your computer to your calculator and to type the stuff up that you want on your calculator. Um, that's pretty much it. Those are the only main requirements that you need to do this. Alright, now I'm at my computer. I'm going to need to go into Firefox. Um, preferably Firefox, that's what I'm going to be using right now. Uh, on, in Google, you're going to type in TI Connect. There's also going to be a link on the sidebar, which you could click, which will take you directly to this website. Um, you can go Google search and the first hit is what you're going to want. Click that, let the page load. After that, you're going to want to scroll down on that thing and click TI Connect for Windows and not for Mac. You could do this for a Macintosh, but I personally don't own one. Um, you're going to want to click that link, which is going to open the pop-up, which you're going to say Save File and it's going to successfully download to your computer. Alright, um, after I finish downloading, I'm going to minimize Firefox and double click on the installer. Let it open up. You want to click Run. And it's going to start to cope with your computer. You know, install the necessary things. This might take a few minutes. So don't worry. All right, you're going to want to click next, next. I agree. And it's going to start, you want to click next one more time, and it's going to start installing, you know, regular installing drill. I'm just going to let you guys right now know, um, please comment and rate. And if you even really like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That big yellow button on the top right, right of your screen. Don't worry, your computer didn't freeze. This process does take a few moments. Okay, you're going to not select the README file. It's just a waste of time. You select that and click Next. All right, next thing you want to do is connect your calculator to your computer with the mini USB cable. The cable port on the TI-84 is located on the top. Um, yeah, right over there. Yep. I'm not going to be able to do this with one hand, so I think I'm going to have to put the camera down on my desk. Yeah. All right. Here you go. Fly that thing right in there. Wedge it a bit. Oh, I'm putting it backwards. All right. Yeah. It shouldn't be quite. I think this is the least difficult part. Just like that. You want it sticking out just like that. Other part, you want to put in USB port of your laptop. 
I could do this one with one hand, no problem. All right, um, let's unplug that and let's plug in the TI Connect. All right, for a minute you t you hear it, turn it on. Make sure that it's on. If it's not on, this won't work. You want your computer um, to locate the new hardware that you just connected. This usually happens automatically. Um, now I'm back to my computer. All right, there it pops up. You're going to want to click the first one. Click next. Click next. And now it's going to look for the software so your computer can identify your calculator. This is a very important step because if you're unsuccessful with this, the program is not going to work. Click install anyways. Don't worry about that. It should be done any minute now. And successful. You're going to want to click finish. And you're good. Alright, next thing you want to do is uh, maximize Firefox again. And I'm going to go in Google and I'm going to type in Notefolio. There's also going to be another link, link number two on the sidebar. You could click that it's going to take you directly to the site. First hit, double click that. You get up, you come into the Texas uh, Instrument website again, you're going to want to click the one that matches for your calculator. I'm actually picking the TI-84 because that's my calculator. I do not own the Silver Edition. You're going to want to download two files over here. You're going to want to download the first one, which is right over there. Just click it and it will download. Save. You want to save it to your desktop. You want to click OK. And you want to download the second one. And you want to do save file. Okay, your installation should be done. I actually stopped it and um, yep, two things right over there. One, two. Top one is what you're going to be putting on your calculator. Bottom one is the installer. Double click the installer and click run. Sorry for that interruption. Um, back to the Texas TI. You're going to want to click next. Um, one second. Let me just. One moment. Something's wrong. One second. Okay. Yeah, it's installing. Yeah, don't. There is no next. My bad. Um, click next. Click next. I agree. You're gonna want to click next again. You're gonna want to click next again. One more time. All right, now it's installing. So now we're installing this program, which is gonna be used for you to type up anything you want on your computer and send it to your calculator so you can view it during any time. 